Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks. In this episode of our building a space station series, we will be doing a small rendezvous and docking basics tutorial because not everybody knows it. And we have here Valentina Kerman who is in orbital station B. And this is the craft that we will be docking to. And this is the basic craft that we will be taking above. So, now, first we want to set the station as target. Then, we are doing a circle around until we get to the sunrise, because I do want to be performing the launch on the sunny side. Great. And now I'm trying to get the orbital station roughly coming into over the horizon as we will be launching so slightly maybe afterwards i'm not really an expert on how to hit it you know you know on the head but if you will really want to launch this is the most efficient way you wait until the station is roughly somewhere around here compared to your position so our position is marked with a red dot and the station is above so Throttle to max and launch. We have Dengard, Build, El and Elbart going into this very simple craft whose sole purpose is docking with the orbital station where, where Valentina is waiting. So, standard launch, nothing out of the ordinary. I really wanted you guys to see the how I'm performing the docking and how I'm also performing the orbital rendezvous because I understand not everybody who wants to build a space station has already mastered the basics of rendezvous and docking. Beautiful site provided by mods, um, stock visual enhancements and scatter, obviously. Our ascent profile is a little bit steeper, which is the way I roll for pretty much all of my rockets. And the moment we hit around 100, let's cut off the engine and see how do we do. Okay, so we will be missing a station by a nice hefty margin. So I'm thinking I will actually add some more thrust and therefore overtaking the station. So I'm going a little bit higher and then I will be rendezvousing with a station on descent back. Uh, one rule of thumb is that the objects passing in the lower orbit are going faster than the objects in the higher orbit. So that's why I'm shooting my craft higher into the space because at that point, as you can see, uh, once we actually perform the circularization maneuver those two should align and I don't want to fully do the circularization maneuver but rather more than an intercept so it's a halfway circularization so the idea is to just push enough speed so that we make sure that we come to the same spot in space with the station that we want to dock with and then they we will use the rest of the Delta V to accelerate to the proper speed and then rendezvous with the station. So, this maneuver is a little bit different than the others. I mean, when I'm launching typically, I run to actually circularize when I'm at the apoapsis. Here at the apoapsis, I'm merely stretching the descent path so that it intersects with the path of the space station that I want to dock with. And here is the space station dock coming into the view. Okay, and good enough. So, great. Now we are going into the target mode, as you can see, and our target is approaching at 1200 meters per second. As I said, we haven't fully circularized. So now I'm rather than burning, according to the maneuver node, I'm burning so that I'm trying to keep the yellow retrograde marker of my rocket and the pink retrograde marker of the station that I want to dock with aligned. 
The reason why I'm doing so is to make sure that both of us will end up at the same spot in space. Okay. And we have, we needed to stage. And now we have, I mean, guys, the trick is to use this target markers and keep those two aligned until you get a proper um, intercept. One thing that you need to think about is that you still want that your target speed not to be too low because then you will basically might happen that you never rendezvous in the first place. So as you can see I'm a little bit conservative so I'm taking 124 meters per second and here is actually the better burn time which is actually helping me out. It says that my target will pass 0 0.5 kilometers from me in 90 seconds. So and as you can see, I have, by doing this, I have almost circularized. Given that I'm at 104 kilometers orbit, I don't need to be worrying about that. Our relative speed to target is 60 meters per second. And we are closing up on our target, 7.6 kilometers. As you can see, we have a pretty decent approach. Another way would be to do the classical style, but I think when you're launching multiple things into orbit to rendezvous with the one specific station, this is the easiest way. And I mean, I haven't obviously invented this. This I have actually learned by watching one of the Scott Manley's videos. I mean, he is really great in terms of teaching people how to actually go and, you know do the rendezvous things and he did a lot of good tutorials for the beginners so if you are lacking some skills in terms of how to do things then I suggest you check his videos. At this point I realized that I'm going a little bit too slow relative to the target so I have pointed my craft pro grade as you can see and I'm thrusting a little bit to keep our two pro grade markers aligned. So I will be passing 0 0.4 in 0.4 kilometers in 110 seconds. So we are going at 40 meters per second. So as I said, you want your approach speed to the target to be around 20 to 30-ish until you get to, let's say, maybe, I don't know, uh, physics range let's say two kilometers one one and a half kilometer and then you want to slow be slowing down when you're under one kilometer range you want your relative speed to be around 15 at the most 15 meters per second relative once also thing important to say as you can see i'm thrusting in different directions when you are using the retrograde marker and thrusting then you are pushing the yellow retrograde marker away from your current position. When you're thrusting towards uh, the, um, the station, so using your prograde markers, you are dragging the prograde marker towards your current heading. So that's one thing to remember. Okay, I'm going at 700 meters, and as you can see, I'm coming in a little bit hot, but I've done this many times, so I feel pretty confident that I will be able to stop and I have pretty good uh, thrust to weight so that I'm pretty confident it will work. Okay, now uh, going at 5 meters per second, 4, 3, 2, and I'm thinking now it will be a good time to start popping our docking port alignment indicator. which we will be using for docking first. Controlling from our docking port, by the way guys, that's pretty important. And then I am selecting the docking port that I don't want to dock to by using the docking port alignment. This uh, HUD that you see in the top left corner is the docking port alignment indicator. It's a mod by I think Navy Fish or somebody like that. It's a really good mod, I couldn't live without it and yeah. Okay, so flipping the craft around. First you want to position the orange reticule in the center. 
then you rotate the other orange dangling thingy so that your controls feel natural you know right is right left is left up is up and down is down so I'm kind of rotating until I find it okay and now once all of this is in place I just use the translation or thrusters which is usually I K L and M to move my yellow uh, marker just past the green lines in the in the marker as you can see since the green horizontal marker is right on the spot I keeping my uh, horizontal marker center but my vertical is still to be aligned and as you can see then just reducing my relative speed using H and N and that's it guys it's a really as simple as that okay so thank you very much for watching like if you like the series and press subscribe for more KSP goodness that is coming soon thanks again for watching this is Groundwork signing off